up slip the lies one day at a time. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. They're here to get your day going fine. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. Kimmy Kim and Elations Radio. And here's your host. Miss Kim Robinson. Squad up. God squad. We about our father's business, man. We about our business, man. If you want war, say so drinking, then the city talking, I'm tired, I mean it. You can talk about me, you can point your fingers, I'm like a bee and the words my singer, covered in the blood and it's on with my shield. Welcome to the war zone, the biblical field. We're just a real Christ gives the promotion, the world is a mind trap. Okay, you know the squad in this guy rated, no fabricating, no paper chasing, uh-huh. we on a mission to glorify, yeah. why you looking down, cause you been a hater, but they hated Jesus, uh-huh. so let it be known that if you ain't got Jesus, hell hotter than the stove, Woo. look I converted my soul back, now I'm on track, uh-huh. trying to get down to the nitty gritty, I'm in the mud with my whole hat, uh-huh. ain't got a rap for the world much, I'm too sanctified, you can have that, separated myself happily, uh-huh. gotta raise up my family, uh-huh. gotta pray for Keisha and Wee Wee, Big Keith and Kenny, uh, got to do that Satan, can't have my family, uh, I'm down with my squad and my father, my heartbeat, uh, ain't no stopping us now, when the train move you can't hold, we and we, we gone. gone. War, thanks go bring it, Tennessee talking, I'm tired, I mean it, you can talk about me, you can point your finger, I'm like a bee and the words my singer, covered in the blood and it's on with my shield. Welcome to the war zone, the biblical field. We're just the real Christ gives the promotion. The world is a mind trap. Boom, explosion. Ready for war. We suited and booted. Yeah. Soldiers on the front line. Christ recruited. Yeah. I'm on fire like those Ferguson buildings. Temperature rising like the Powerball millions. Saints gon' love me and these sinners gon' hate me. The world's like a jigsaw, man. They crazy. Smoking the pounds and got the nerve to thank God, man. Or standing in the pool pit dressed like Robin. Spitting your nonsense, mixed with negative content. Your boy's not judging, just like that in your conscience. Now I'm rolling, this is a class discussion. My God's fed up, time for mass destruction. Oh! If you want war, say so drink it. In the city talking, I'm tired, I mean it. You can talk about me, you can point your fingers. I'm like a bee and the words my singer. Covered in the blood and it's on my shield. Welcome to the war zone, the biblical field. Yeah. We're just a real Christ, gives the promotion. Party the world yet. is a mind child. Boom, Boom bro. No, you hear that? Hey, people really out here dying. Yeah. So why they feeding people all that violence and that lying? Why? Showing up at kids' schools, speaking, trying to motivate them. But all they music do is tear them down and degrade them. Mention murder all the time, killing brothers with your rounds. How dare you step outside and protest for Mike Brown? I'ma call you Darren Wilson. I ain't dissing, homie, listen. But these kids, they pay attention to your lyrics, so you tripping. Why you sipping and you smoking? People want to do the same. They keep that song. Like a love addiction deeply rooted in their brain I'm saying, man, these streets need a change So tell me what you gon' do Continue doing the same Or let Christ Jesus lead you If you want war, thanks go drink it Send the city talking, I'm tired, I mean it You can talk about me, you can point your fingers I'm like a bee and the words my singer Covered in the blood and it's on with my shield Welcome to the war zone, the biblical field. We're just a real Christ gives the promotion. The world is a mind trap. Boom, explosion. Amen, amen, amen. Hey, everybody, this is your host, Calvin Lowe, the Logan Power Show, nationwide, worldwide. It is August the 3rd. 
2019. Get excited. God is good. I don't know about y'all, but he's been good to me. Uh, so I know this Saturday it definitely is a good time for families, a good time for fellowship. So definitely give some, those family members that are close to you, even the ones that are far from you. Give them that hug. Give them a call. Text them. See how they're doing. Fellowship the ones that are close by. This is a time that we need to come together, family. We need to fellowship one among, among one another here in the body of Christ. So, hey, this is me, your host, Calvin Logan, the Logan Power Show, live on the Lations Radio. The number again is 646-564-9842. Our website, again, is www.theloganpowershow.us. And we are blessed to be here talking to you live. And uh, we know it's going to be a great show today. Uh, I know our guest is going to blow your mind for what he's about to tell us about what he's doing, how he's impacting uh, not just the North Carolina area, but across the nation. Uh, and his three fashion industries that he has. So definitely someone you're going to love to hear when he comes on a little bit. Uh, if anything, Mr. Jeffrey Lee, a uh, blessed man of God that you want to get connected with. But before we get um, into our show, definitely want to go in a prayer and uh, let, let the Lord work. Father, I mean, you just want to thank Father for this opportunity to be in your presence. We thank you, Father, for everyone who is listening in and on the replay that their lives are being changed. Father, we just thank you and we praise you. This is the day that you have made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Nothing here, nothing broken. We know, Father, that you are uh, the head of our lives. We seek you first and come for you for the answers. And we thank you, Father, for what you are doing, both now and forever. I thank you, Father, how you're blessing everyone right now. Look at this nation to you, Father. Right now, from the president to our elected officials, Father, the ball of our fivefold ministries, from our apostles, our pastors, uh, lift our evangelists, prophets, uh, teachers, Father. We lift them up to you right now, Father. We lift up those that don't have a place to stay, the ones that are homeless. We lift up our military branches and our members. Uh, we lift up those that are uh, fighting for social injustice. We lift up those, Father, right now, uh, under the sound of my voice, uh, police department, fire department. Father, we lift those that are just making an impact in this nation. Um, uh, Peace Corps, Father, we just want to just lift up our people that are on mission. And we just thank you and we uh, just praise you for what you're doing both now and forever. But we just thank you right now what's about to happen. And Holy Spirit, as we decrease, uh, you're going to increase. And we pray, Father, lives are being changed. Praise you and thank you in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Well, hey, everybody, again, my name is Host Calvin, the Logan Power Show. I just thank you all for just listening in. You didn't have to listen to us, but we thank you for listening in. Uh, hey, August the 3rd, 2019, about four more months until the year is out. Uh, I hope that you all are planning out what you want to do and how you want to impact uh, those that you are connected with. Uh, so I definitely want you all to to basically just put God first in the head of your mind. I want you to understand that without him, you are not going to make it. I promise you that you won't make it without him. He is the one structuring the situation. Praise you. And I tell you right now, this is going to be a great time that you want to know more, want to learn more. And we just thank you. For those that are listening to us right now, that it's going to be a great time. I promise you this. It's going to be a great time here in the Lord. And um, it's time for us as believers to really just stand up, to actually listen in to what God is getting ready to do and how he is catapulting us. And we're looking for answers, and we want to get the right answer because the answers that we're going to get is going to change our lives. I know a lot of times for us, we're looking for our answers in all different types of ways, and we think we can find them in the wrong people. Sometimes we look up to the wrong people. We make them our God instead of putting God first and saying God is used to speak to our lives. Uh, I know a lot of times, I don't know about you, but a lot of people, what they do is they put people at this highest pedestal, and they don't put God 
at the top of their lives. And when they don't do that, when they do that, it affects you dearly. So we definitely don't want to do that. We definitely don't want to create pedestals. We want to basically choose God. So but that's something that you don't want to get yourself involved in. Okay? So that's what you definitely don't want to do. Uh, but, you know, hey, we know that for God, to God be the glory. And for him, we can't do nothing without him because we know that he is the way, the truth, and the light. So I know I'm just looking outside and I'm pretty much staying focused on what I got to do. I don't know about y'all, but, you know, you got to do what you got to do. So I'm out and about. I'm just thinking about how we can make an impact in in 2019. So for those that listen to me right now, 2019 is going to be a great year for a lot of us. You know, don't get discouraged when things seem like they're at their lowest. I know a lot of times for us, we think that because we've brought a lot of trial and tribulation and turmoil that, you know, it's over or you've had a some challenging months in your lives, you can't make it. So we understand this, that you are a giant killer. You got to say it to yourself. I am a giant killer. I am one who has been designed. I don't care how tall you are, how short you are. You know, your stature doesn't mean anything. doesn't go by how strong you are. But you have to say to yourself, you are a giant killer. God has given you the tools to break barriers. God is giving you the tools to break down strongholds. God is giving you the tools um, to break down generational curses that's been affected your family for centuries. Um, we know that without him, we'll never make it. And we know with him that he is the head of our lives. So I want you all who are listening to me to keep on repeating to yourself that, you know, Father, I'm going to trust you despite what I see, what I'm going through. Because a lot of times we really beat ourselves in the mental game. You know, a lot of these things that we are facing, we know we got physical challenges, things that come upon ourselves, but sometimes we beat ourselves up. You ever ask yourself, why is it that I'm going through this challenge. Or you ever ask yourself, you know, why me? Sometimes you got you to gotta say to yourself, you know, why not me? God has chosen you for this purpose, this season, to do something great, to achieve greatness, to literally catapult yourself to a whole nother level, not just physically, but spiritually. Think about it, spiritually. Your manifestation, your greatness will only come when you put God through. When you make him the head of your life, when you make him to be the head of your household, when you make God to be your your only and your last. God, God is pretty much Never leaving, never forsaking. As long as you're keeping him first, hey, your life will always be good. You'll always win. A lot of us don't win because what we do is we try to limit what God is doing in our lives. And we think because of maybe the color of our skin, what's looking in our bank account, um, how we look. You know, how our life has came about, we can't make it. But you can make it. You can do it. You can actually do it. You can be great. So I want you to understand this. You can make it. You can make it. And don't think you're ever going to make it. So while we're listening in, I know our guest is about to come on in the next minute or so. I'm just going to check in and see if you're in the room. All right. 
I'm just going to check it but, and see if he's on the line with it. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to see if he's here and see if he's on the line with us. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Jeffrey Lee. Mr. Lee, you're on the line with us. Mr. Lee, are you on? Okay, still waiting. I know we're waiting for Mr. Lee to get on with us here at the Logan Power Show. I know he was busy handling some business, so we're just waiting for him to get on. Because once he gets on with this, I'm telling you, uh, your life is going to change for what he's got to tell you, of where he's come from, what he's been through, and how he's making an impact. All right, Mr. Lee, can you hear me? Mr. Lee, yo, can you hear yo. me? Yeah, how I'm you here. doing? I'm here. All right. You thank doing? you. Thank you. Thank you. Doing great. How about yourself, sir? I'm sorry. Say it again. Hi. Doing great. How about yourself? Blessed, brother. Blessed. Blessed. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, this is live. Live here in the Logan Power Show. His first time here. Um, I'm ecstatic. You know of what he's doing. The one on Mr. Jeffrey Lee. Uh, for those who don't know, this brother has is doing some great things. And like I said, he's a very busy man, so it's a privilege and an honor just to have him here in the Logan Power Show to talk about himself. I just want to go over a brief a couple of things about him. Um, he's a founder and CEO of three fashion companies, Never Too Fly to Pray, Jeffrey Lee Feathers, and then also H-T-D-O-G. W T R. Man, Mr. Lee. Hot you're a dog busy man water. Because, yeah, hot dog water. So <laughs> so tell us, how did you come up with these names for these companies that you started this fashion industry? Because you went to North Carolina A and T. Um you was a go getter and it's really changed your life. So how'd you get involved? Man, that's wanna say first and foremost, I appreciate you allowing me to share my story and everything on your platform, man. So I first and foremost right. definitely wanted to kick that to you. Um, so, yeah, I really do appreciate that. With uh, the clothing brand, man, I've been sewing since I was five years old, uh, helping wow. my mom. Yeah, she, she was she, on the side while she was getting her master's and doing her and working. She used to do side projects. Um and I was just interested in it, man. I, I really found an uh, interest in it very young. And she used to yeah. show me small techniques and um, how to sew. It just, you know, started me with the basics. And I just took off mm-hmm. from there. Amen. Amen. And it, now, so yeah. then, go ahead. I would say, so from there, then, you know, just trying to figure out who I was through high school and middle school and everything, and then in college, that's when I started the hot dog water brand in 2006, yeah, and the name, man, came, it's just from my grandfather, it's like an homage to my grandfather, and it's just really talking about when he's a very family-oriented guy, and he used to have family picnics and cookouts, and he'll be on the grill cooking, you know, the hot dogs, uh, you know, the hamburgers and everything, he was like, kids, come get the food. And then we'd be like, you know, from playing and everything, we'd be like, hey, Papa, can we get something out the cooler to drink, you know, with the food? He'd be like, no, nah, you better go over there to that water fountain and eat that hot dog. <laughs> so that's where it came <laughs> from. Just so homage to my grandfather, man. Amen. Amen. Well, shout that's out how to that started, man. <laughs> yes, sir. Shout out to your grandfather, Mr. Lee, giving you that vision of that hot dog water, because that's, that's a fun, that's a unique name. Yeah, man, yeah. yeah, and and just what they even, you know, strive me to use it more was just people was, was when I was coming out with it, was saying, oh, you're not going to get nobody to wear that. Who's going to wear a shirt that says hot dog water? Who's going to wear, you know, who, who who wants to wear that with that name on there? Man, I've styled yeah. some of the biggest celebrities in that stuff, and they wore it proudly, Amen. you know? So Amen. I just feel Amen. like anytime you have a vision, no one can stop that vision. But you, people can Absolutely. have their input or say so, but it it, it determines you 
how far you want to take it and what you believe in. Absolutely. Now, can you can you name like now with your your Jason Jeffrey Lee feathers? What can you describe? Like I know it's with the hats. Does anything else come with the hats? The Jeff the Jeff the Jeffrey Lee feathers. What comes with that? Uh yeah. So so feathers is my uh, Jeffrey Lee feathers is my third company, and which is which is um amazing is. It's I do hat accessories or I I'll do uh, different things to hats. Like you give me a blank hat or you give me something and I'll and I'll turn into a work of art. Um, some hats I even uh, burn, man. It's amazing just how that technique I've learned is burning technique of wool and how to make it look vintage, how to give it a uh, distressed look. Um, so I do it all, man. I do feathers and uh, pins, um, brooches. So it's a lot of stuff that comes into it. It's more of an accessory line. And how I got into that, man, it was a designer for this company called Gorn Brothers, a hat company um, based mm-hmm. out of San Francisco, uh, working with them and their uh, location here in Atlanta. And it just wasn't – it had no flavor at all. You ever just had somebody mm-hmm. just chicken and just didn't have no flavor? <laughs> and that's how and that's how it was in that store and I just start flipping it and hand painting. I always been into dyeing and painting and everything with you know, with coming for the clothes, uh, just different levels in it and Got it. Wow man. And then never too fly to pray. Stores in the US. Never too fly. Yes, sir. Never too fly to pray. Uh yeah, that's my clothing brand. Um <clears throat> I started that. It was actually a collection from Hot Dog Water. I just named it uh, Never Too Fly to Pray, and I was using that. Mm-hmm. And Go ahead. Just really talking about about how, you know, the power of prayer has changed them or, you know, how, how powerful they feel that God is. And just by that, and I just took that, I said, you know what, this is it. I'm going to make this into a whole brand and, and you know, a, a lifestyle. And when I mean lifestyle, I don't mean just, you know, you're wearing it. It's definitely what you believe in. Got it. <laughs> got it. Got it. Now, with your with your hot dog water, you mentioned celebrities are, are wearing your stuff and people's lives are changing from it. If you can name, because, you know, I don't want to, I want you to tell it. like how big God has really elevated you. Can you name some celebrities that are wearing your stuff now? Uh, today I just did a piece for, um, it's just like I said, three different brands, man. It's just, it's just crazy how, it's not even crazy. It's just remarkable how God works when he show when you show him your dedication and everything. So um, a couple of weeks ago, I just did Jermaine Dupree's outfit for his, big concert he had at Essence Fest. It was a 25-year wow. concert he had there. I did his outfit. Like, he started out with my with something I created. Um, I do stuff for uh, Tasha Smith, her hat, uh, did stuff for Cam Newton. Um, what I just did something for Big Gip. I don't know if you know Big Gip is from Goody Mob. You know, that's like Atlanta legend here. Um, I did stuff for Usher. I did stuff for Man, all types of people, man. Ricky Smiley, uh, head crack on there, Dish Nation, um, and the brat that's even more so so deaf. Uh, I've I, I've done stuff for man. I've worked in some type of way with a lot of people, man. And and I and I, and I feel honored because you know people don't have to wear my creations. You know they choose to be able to wear them. I just present it. And God moves in, 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 in fabulous ways. You know, this this and stuff with Kurt Franklin, he's on tour right now. Uh so it's just it's just some it's just uh, remarkable how God really uses you if you allow him to use you and you know your purpose. And we see that thing is once you know your purpose and you live in your purpose, man, you can do things that you could never imagine, man. <laughs> Amen. 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 
So, you know, based off of your three fashion industries that you business that you started and they are booming like hot fire, what is God telling you need to do? Is there anything you need to do anything different? Or are you about to kick it to another gear? What's the next level you're gonna go to? Man, uh so I was I was God gave me a vision. Let's tell you this story right quick. He gave me a vision and he was like it was me just driving in this um it was like a cargo truck. You know, the white cargo mm-hmm. truck that companies drive in with no back seats or anything. I had a vision. Mm-hmm. And I was like, dang, I I do want one of those because I do a lot of pop ups, I do a lot of traveling. And but I wasn't really investing into automobiles to really, you know, go far or, you know, carry a lot at one time. Uh he just gave me his vision of seeing me in it, man, and I was I was able to purchase it brand new and pay cash for it. And now I'm about, wow. I'm about to get it wrapped and I'm going on tour. I'm going on tour really okay. just, you know, spreading the word and the power of prayer. So these Amen. clothing lines are just, you know, uh, platforms with the real purpose is. Amen. 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 Prayer. Got it. Now, when you talk about prayer, how has prayer changed you? Because it sounds like you are very much a praying man, and that's how you live your life. But how has prayer changed your life? Uh, man, it, it changed my life tremendously. I went through a situation where I asked, you know, I, I lost my job. Um, I was, you know, not really going to church and not really giving God the glory that he deserves. And, and I was at a, a high peak of styling and, you know, if people who I grew up listening to, watching on TV, I was like getting invited personally by them to hang out and to do different things. And then like it all stopped, you know, and while I was just going through as a guy, just, you know, I'm going through this stuff. Um, I'm willing to start over. And I did. And I said, you know, take anybody out of my life who is not supposed to be there. I was, that was a prayer that I had. I remember like it was yesterday. I said, take anybody out of my life that is not supposed to be there. And he did. (laughs) And, 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 and and that was a prayer that I had, but was it something I was ready to really live or really let, ready to let go, let go of those people, let go of those relationships. And I really wasn't. So I was making excuses when he was taking them out of my life. I would say, oh, you know, they were just busy or, oh, you know, just making excuses for them when he was literally taking them out of my life with ease, you know. But as me as a human, I was thinking through my flesh and not really through my spirit and seeing that these people were, you know, purposely getting taken out of my life. And he made it easy. It's something that I hunger, but I'm, I, I wasn't really spiritually ready for that. So time and time again, he was doing it. Then he was like, all right, you don't believe me? Then, I, you know, when I say, you know, take these people out of my life, all right, I'm going to really show you who's there for you. I got in a bad car accident. I was on a bicycle, got hit by a car. And that really showed me that who was really there for me. You know, um, in in those desperate times, I couldn't walk. Had to relearn how to walk again and everything. So it was like I was learning how to rewalk again physically, but I was also learning how to rewalk again spiritually. Mm. So I really feel like people got to understand. You know, when you when you when you ask God for things, make sure you're ready for them things you're asking God for, because He'll give it to mm. you. But are you really ready for Him? Wow. I mean that so I just went through a life change, man. I, I couldn't walk for like four months. Wow. Yeah, yeah, it, it definitely it, it took a big toll on me, man. Well Phil, you you blessing everybody here on the phone and I know across the globe to say like, you know, when you pray for something and you ask God to do it and you take people out of your life, you know, don't get mad when that does happen. Um 
you know, final thought, where you, when you, um, how can people get in contact with you? How can they get in, uh, connected with your clothing line? You know, where can they find all your stuff at? Man, right now you can definitely check me out. I have my website is never the number two fly number two pray dot com. So it's never too fly to pray. That's my website, my main website I'm using for the brand and for my public speaking engagements. Um, then I have also my Facebook, Instagram, uh, Twitter with the Never Too Fly to Pray. Um, the hot dog water stuff is connected to that. And then I have the Jeffrey Lee Feathers. It's on website. That's Jeffrey, J-E-F-F-R-E-Y, and then L-E-E Feathers dot com. You can uh, check me out on there too, and on Instagram, Facebook also. So if hey, you want me to man. come to your hey. city, let me know, and we will be on the way. <laughs> well, you know, I want you to come to my city. Um, definitely, like to get you in person. I'm going to try to see if I can get you down here so I can interview you on television, the Logan Power Show. You know, I want to get you on the television side, and that's the, this is just the radio. So I definitely want to get you down here as quick as I can and work out work something out with you in regards to that. Most definitely, brother, most definitely. <laughs> but we got to figure well, it sir, out because I definitely want to come. Absolutely, absolutely. Before you go, can we pray for you? Yes, 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 yes. Let's do it. Let's do it. Every Father, name of Jesus. Every Father, what? Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I got you. I can hear you. Okay, gotcha. Father, name of Jesus, I want to lift up right now the man of God, Jeffrey Lee, to you, Father. Right now, that as you're elevating this man of God, Father, I pray you, Father, that the people that's supposed to be in his inner circle stays in it, who's not supposed to be in it, has been eradicated and left from that inner circle. Father, I pray you, Father, as he goes across the nation and across the globe, and people are putting on his clothing, putting on his accessories, that there's an anointing that comes on them that they want to do better, want to live right and do right. Father, that people that he connects with, is going to, he's going to have doors open for him, Father, that he's going to create ways and platforms for others who are going through the same struggles he was going through that they never go to struggle again because he'll have the door, the keys to open up for those individuals. Father, right now, this man of God, hey, Father, you keep him, you elevate him, Father, that as his, as his businesses grow, that his spirituality with you grows, Father. You keep him connected with you, Father. That his prayer life is going to be so, so powerful with you, Father, that you're going to tell him where to go, who he needs to talk to, who he needs to get connected with, Father. I pray, Father, as he opens up stores across the nation. I pray if I had online grows, Father. Every boutique store across every mall across the nation is going to have his stuff on their shelves, on their baskets, Father, that people are going to go online, plucking his stuff out, taking it off, Father, putting it on, talking about how good this has changed their lives. Father, I claim, Father, that you're blessing his family, Father, that you're elevating this man of God, and then, Father, that from this day forward, you're, he's making a mark that can never be erased, and, Father, you're, you're leading him with your eyes and guiding him with your hands, and bless him right now in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Woo. Woo. Boy. <laughs> Woo. That was something. I appreciate that, brother, man. I appreciate no that. No problem, sir. Anytime, Mr. Lee, I always know when I bless a man of God like that in prayer, things come back to me. And when I connect with people like this, I know who I'm talking to. You know, it elevates me because you got doors that's going to help me. And when you come on television, I promise your life is going to change. And I have to appreciate you coming on the line. You didn't have to, but I appreciate you. So I just want to let you know that. And working with my crazy schedule, man, I really do. I appreciate you, my <laughs> brother. No problem. appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard Jeff and me live here in the Logan Power Show. Hey, I want you all who are listening to me. Stay in tune what we are doing. We're going to be live in effect on August the 24th and August the 31st of this month. I want you to be excited. Go to our website today, www.theloganpowershow.us. Donate today. Follow us on YouTube. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Hey, we are here to make a difference. 
Hey, I love y'all who are listening to us. Hey, we, we know it's going to be a blessed time in the Lord. Thank you for everyone who's listening to us. Look up your families and pray the blessings upon you. And we pray 2019, we're going to take back the take back things that have been taken away from us. And this is a no hold back year. We're going to eradicate debt. We're going to eradicate sickness. We're going to eradicate change that's going through our families. We're going to break those generational curses and we're going to live a better life. We thank you all for listening. Hey, we love y'all. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Miss Kimmy can't take us out. Thank you for the local power show. We love y'all. Love you, family. Peace out. Yes, sir. <laughs>